Well, although I'd known about the Baha'i faith for a long time, I think the, the extent of the persecution really came uh, to my attention through the story of, of Mona, who, uh, in, the, in the earlier days of the Iranian Revolution in 1983, uh, was uh, was hanged age 17 with nine other women uh, simply because they, they were Baha'i Faith members. Uh, and also I'm now on uh, a working group on religious freedom and we're interested in uh, people who suffer because of their religious faith from all over the world. Uh, we've looked at all sorts of countries but, but Iran and the Baha'i Faith has been one area that we've been particularly interested in and uh, although now members of the Baha'i Faith are uh, more likely to be subject to imprisonment and restrictions in all sorts of other ways, it's still a very serious situation for people simply because they have a religious faith that that particular regime doesn't approve of. Um, I know that there are still very large numbers of people in prison because of their belief in the Baha'i Faith and the, the seven leaders of that faith that are in prison at the moment for such long sentences are something that we are concerned about and with so much attention on Iran at the moment because of the nuclear talks and what's going on there I think it's important that these issues are not overlooked in the hope for progress in other areas that, that human rights and religious freedom should remain something we stay concerned about even as we make progress possibly with Iran in other areas.